guys, it's Nikki, and I'm here with a taste test of my meal prep. I was so excited about this particular meal this week. It's the Hawaiian grilled teriyaki chicken and the Hawaiian macaroni salad. I transferred it onto the plate and heated up the chicken, and then I transferred the macaroni salad so that it wouldn't heat up. And I'm about to take the first bite of the chicken. Okay. So the flavor is excellent. I will say that The chicken is a little on the tough side and I don't know if it was because I got that little in piece that marinade so it marinated for four hours and then you kind of baste or glaze the chicken on the grill as you're cooking it that flavor is so good I might look at a, a better way of reheating it than in the microwave because I do think it got a little tough in the microwave but overall the flavor is really good So this macaroni salad is legit right here. <laughs> of course you can do, if you know, I'm on the purple plan so I could do a whole wheat pasta for zero points, but it's just been my experience that whole wheat pasta doesn't prep well because like if you eat it right when you cook it, it doesn't have an overbearing wheat flavor, but the longer it sits and I don't know, has time to <laughs> whatever, the flavor just, it just has this kind of overpowering like wheat kind of healthy flavor. So I just don't care for it, uh, unless it's something that I'm just making right then and there, or the only other way that I will eat a wheat pasta is if I just cook the pasta and I freeze it just without any kind of sauce on it, and then reheat it when I'm ready to use it. But obviously this recipe needed to be made ahead of time because it's got, you know, all the, all the things. <laughs> But this turned out really, really, really good. So three points for one third of a cup, and that's on all three plans. Mm. That macaroni salad is perfect. It's got like this tanginess to it but it's still like nice and it has kind of this fresh flavor. Yeah, so I just got into the center of that chicken and it's nice and tender. The flavor is good. I would give this a 4 out of 5 just because parts of the chicken are a little tough after reheating it even though it really marinated for a long time yesterday, probably about 5 hours. But the flavor is good. Would I make this again? I would say yes. I would say I might tenderize the chicken or find a better way to heat it up like maybe in a steam bag instead of just straight up in the microwave just to keep 
keep it from drying out in the microwave as, as it's reheating. But that macaroni salad is a definite yes, absolutely, 100%, I would make again. That macaroni salad is a 5 out of 5, so. The Hawaiian chicken is a 4 out of 5, and the macaroni salad is a 5 out of 5. Hey so guys, it's taste testing my meal prep number 2. Today is Monday, and tonight I am eating the chicken stuffing bake and the air fryer potatoes. I have officially air fried the potatoes now. Um, that's how I reheated these, um, just so that I could get them crispy, which is something they would not be if I heated them up in the microwave. So, the only thing I'm worried about on the potatoes is the <laughs> rosemary that I added as the seasoning, um, or I should say in the seasoning. It was the dried rosemary, so sometimes that can get kind of chewy if you don't kind of saute it in some oil first, which I did not. But, it's gonna be hot because I just took it out of the air fryer. Wow. Okay. So that's good. Um, I don't really have any kind of issue with the rosemary. Like it's, the flavor in this is really, really good. There's a lot of flavor. Like there was just like this punch of flavor as soon as this hit my mouth. Okay. Zero points for the potatoes on purple. Let's try the chicken bake. I think the chicken bake is like five points on purple. That's good. Oh, that's real good. The chicken is really tender. The stove top, stove top stuffing tastes like stove top stuffing. I mean, how can you go wrong there? It's so good, right? Mm. I didn't add any butter because it gets the flavor from the 98% fat-free cream of chicken and the um, the chicken broth. This is really good. This is another. This is another five star. Like this, everything about this meal right here is excellent. This is definitely one that I would hands down make again. Hey guys, Mickey here. So today's Tuesday and I have another meal prep that I am about to taste test. This is my lunch today. It is the chicken tikka masala. And let me just say that I saved this one to try last because I have the highest hopes for this particular meal. I just think it's gonna be so good. Um, I can already tell from heating it up in the microwave that the chicken is just so, so tender. Um, and that's just from like moving the pieces around just to make sure that the middle got warm and it's not like cold in the center or whatever. But, here is what that looks like. It's got that grilled char on it and all of that seasoning. So let's try it. Okay. This tastes like it came from an Indian restaurant. 
I'm not even kidding. This has so much flavor. This does not taste at all, at all like a healthy recipe. Like this is totally off the chart, five out of five. Mmm, mmm, oh my god. You know, I subbed the heavy cream with just unsweetened coconut milk um, for a lot less points. <laughs> and this really kind of tastes like that's how it's supposed to be made. Like that's just the natural way to cook it. Like you can, t you can t just barely taste a hint of that coconut milk and that coconut cream. This one hit it out of the park, hands down. The last two meals are the two breakfast meals. Those are both repeat meal preps. And of course, because I'm making them again, I'm obviously willing to make them again. They are both definitely regulars on my rotation. These birthday cake pancake poppers, they're just so light and colorful and <laughs> they're just, nice and pretty as well as tasting good. The pancakes, they do not taste like any kind of healthy version of anything. I freeze them and I put them in the toaster, toast them up just like an Eggo waffle and eat them for breakfast. Delicious.